In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sous vide a perfectly poached egg. What is good, everyone? I recently found out you can perfectly poach an egg with a sous vide. So that's what I'm gonna show you how I do right now. So in here, I got a ton of cat hair. Let me swap this out, gross. All right, so in here I got some uh, hot water. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw my uh, sous vide in there. If you haven't got one of these, um, I would highly recommend picking one up. I mean, they're perfect for um, super controlled cooking temperature. Um, basically, it heats up the water at a precise temperature, you put your food in there and it cooks it uh, at that exact temperature. This one in particular, I think my girlfriend purchased from a Kickstarter account, but um, I think sous vides were super hyped like a few years ago, but now they're a lot more readily available and also uh, pretty inexpensive. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend picking one up. Uh, they make cooking super easy. So pretty much just plug this thing in, uh, turn it on, and I'm gonna bring this up to 167 degrees. And while this comes to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my eggs and set up um, an ice bath. So once the eggs are finished, I'm gonna throw them into that ice bath to stop the cooking. The only other tool that I would recommend for this recipe is this uh, egg hole punch. What it does is it punches a hole into the egg and it helps prevent the egg from breaking while boiling and it also makes it easier to peel the egg after it's done cooking. So while we're waiting for the water to come up to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and punch some holes in these eggs. I think I'm just gonna make about three eggs today. What's cool about this recipe is that you can cook a couple eggs and then just put them back into the fridge and when you wanna eat them, um, they're already basically cooked. Now that our water is up to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and gently drop in these eggs and we're gonna cook them for 13 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 13 minutes. I think I might have accidentally double punched a hole in one of these eggs and it's starting to spew out a little bit, but um, once it starts cooking, it'll kind of like seal it up a little bit and everything will stay in there. All right, so now that they're done, 13 minutes is up, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them into this ice bath and that should immediately stop the cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them in here for a couple minutes. And while they cool off, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up. So when you're ready to eat them, all you have to do is pretty much just break them open. Um, I think they go great over something as simple as rice or on top of like avocado toast or something like that. I made these specifically for my ramen video, which I'll be sure to link in the description. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. I plan to post weekly videos, well my goal is to post weekly videos, on all things good in food, my life, and business. Thank you so much again for watching.